Uh, my name is Hüseyin Jamalan. I'm a, a rider at Gorillas. I work at Bergman Kids. And uh, today we're here to uh, protest an unfortunate event that happened yesterday that one of our, uh, one of our colleagues from a warehouse in uh, Checkpoint Charlie got fired uh, without any warnings. And uh, so we are here to um, protest against that and make sure that he gets rehired because that was completely unjustified uh, from whether you might call the legal perspective or from a moral perspective as well. Uh, but in general, I think this is uh, a much larger thing than uh, a colleague of us getting fired. We have been uh, facing numerous violations and um, unfair practices in our work. I've been here in this company for six months and uh, nothing has changed in this time period. Uh, there have been numerous calls to action, numerous warnings to the company. And uh, it seems like nothing is getting done. So we are, we are kind of sick of it, honestly. We need, we need better conditions at work. Uh, we need uh, more wages. We need more. Um, we need better support from the company when it comes to us having to take like sick leaves or uh, holidays or uh, anything that's like bureaucratic that we have to do. Uh, it's really a very torturous process right now. Since the winter, we have been forced to work with like so many times for so long uh, without proper equipment, uh, without proper installations on our bikes, with broken bikes, with with really like the worst conditions when it comes to. Uh, doing things properly. Um, I didn't receive a coat for the winter for like three or four months. Um, we we had to buy our own helmets uh, to to start the work, and like we we were told that we need to get helmets. Uh, another example is, for example, with the phones. Um, on our contract, it said that the employer will provide us uh, equipment, but. We actually are always asked to bring our own phones and when we don't bring phones we are refused shifts, literally. And this is unacceptable. So, uh, or like when you break your phone in the, in the middle of your shift, like you do, not, you do not get any monetary compensation. So all of those things are ex unacceptable. Uh, I mean, uh, from a labor, labor law perspective and, and even from the perspective of the contract that we signed with Gorillaz. The issue with the contract is that the, the, the probezite is six months long. and. Uh, that is usually a long enough time for people to, to go mostly go. I would, I would assume that maybe 90% of the riders in the company are working less than six months. So this gives the company this, like, this really easy way to fire anyone they want without any impunity whatsoever, which is the case uh, of uh, yesterday, what happened. Uh, the, our friend was actually a really good worker. I mean, not that it's relevant, and it seemed like he was just fired for no reason. He was not told any reason. He was just fired and the company refused to give any reason yesterday during our protests, uh, citing some uh, legal issues and whatnot. But yeah, it seems like just generally in the company, people are kind of just doing whatever they want and this is not, this is not okay. And we are here to stand against that. And I'm sure we have a lot of supporters uh, who are not able to show themselves. Maybe they, they, uh, they are afraid that the company will fire them and uh, they, are, they are hidden there in the, in the woodwork. But definitely, I, I believe we have a lot of supporters and I believe the general sentiment amongst riders in the company is very, very negative because this has been happening for a very long time. I'm one of the oldest riders right now, I believe, uh, that, I, th that are in the still, still working and I've talked to so many people and I mean, I think that the general idea is that people seem to have these expectations that like working in a bike company usually uh, is not good anyway. So they, they kind of take it for granted that we will be mistreated. So people kind of, this has become somehow like people's standard. And I think this is also a reason why maybe people are uh, not here in larger numbers. But I would say still, this is a very large number. There are people who are, who are being forced to work right now. They have their shifts, so maybe they can't come for that reason. So this number is definitely an under-representation of the real numbers that we have. And it's only going to get larger from here. If it's safe for me to actually do this interview, especially with my face uh, visible, it's not. Uh, it's not, it's not uh, very safe. I could be fired at any moment. I'm still underneath my, uh, the six months of my probezite. Uh, so the company could fire me if they wanted. My privilege right now is that I am already leaving the company in a, in a few days. So these are my last days in the company. So I still want to stand in solidarity with my fellow riders. But I have the privilege of being able to do this without really facing big consequences. Uh, just want to say to our fellow riders that uh, they will never be alone and uh, 
If they're afraid, they should not be afraid because so long as we stand for each other, there is nothing that they can do. Gorillas can fire one rider, two riders, three riders, okay. They cannot ride 50 riders, they cannot fire 100 riders without completely destroying their own operations. So we are the main, uh, we are the main base for their value proposition for gorillas. Gorillas without the riders cannot do any business. Those guys who are giving us corporate speak like all day long and trying to disperse the crowd, they cannot take 25 kilo backpacks on their back and like deliver to customers all day long. They're not going to do that. So we are the ones that are, that are doing this. We are the ones that are making it possible and uh, we will eventually win. There is no way that we can lose. So I want our fellow riders to have confidence in us and trust us. And if they feel safe and if they have the power, come here and support us. Thank you.